Drivers and travelers stranded between Bukavu and Uvira, two of the main cities in DRC's South Kivu province. They say their journeys have become impossible as roads are pitted with potholes and rickety bridges are washed away by overflowing water from torrential rains. Nathaniel Kanune is counting his losses as his truck ferrying tons of foodstuff to Burundi's city of Bujumbura is stuck in a queue with dozens of other vehicles. The goods will rot on the road. They are rotten. They won't last long. We have to get it to its destination as quickly as possible. I can't even try to go through the water, because if water gets into the container, I'll lose everything too, and I'll have to pay. You have to try to store the goods somewhere, but every time you do, you are going to have losses. You are not going to benefit from anything. You are doomed to lose everything. For others, it has become a nightmare. Life is becoming complicated with enormous suffering. The goods coming from Uvira have to be unloaded and loaded into another lorry on the other side. It's a really unbearable situation. The safest and most efficient roads for transporting goods into the DRC were cut off after Burundi closed its border with Rwanda in January, accusing Rwanda of backing a rebel group that launched an attack near the border with the DRC in late December. Passengers are now forced to travel through makeshift routes. The bridge wasn't completely broken and people continue to cross it. But now, it's impossible. The government should build this road because it's the only one used by all travelers going to Burundi given that the Rua border is closed. We are suffering and wondering if you're going to spend the night here. As stranded travelers continue to try to make their way out, they are calling on the Congolese government to fix the roads and facilitate better travel. Wanja Mungai, CGTN.